Ladies and gentlemen, this super flyweight contest is scheduled for five two-minute rounds and is brought to you by Pick Cherries. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Helmi Lendosi. Let's meet the fighters first, fighting out of the blue corner. She stands five feet, one inch tall. She weighed in at 117.1 pounds. She is making her bare knuckle debut and she fights out of Seda, Lebanon. Introducing Mariana, the heroine, Kamara. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet, two inches tall. She went in at 113.5 pounds. She is making her bare knuckle debut and she fights out of Vagar Shapat, Armenia. Here is Agnesa Spitfire, Kira Kolsi. Yes, yes. Get it, girl. Kira Kozian, six and one with the gloves on, five wins by knockout. She just boxed 22 days ago. Ladies, ready? Let's go. Here we go. Kamara in the pink trunks. Karakosian in the black trunks with Spitfire, her nickname, in red on the back. Stop, stop. Break. Karakosian taking a right tour from the start. Yes. Boy, she is very accurate, too. I mean, that's a great leverage on those shots. Oh, good shots. Both women land. Yep. Stop! 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 Yeah, is still physically strong fighter. Even on the inside in the initial clinch, she pushed Kamara back to ropes. Now she pushed her offer. So now she's turning south. But see, this is a point I made about being an upright fighter. You know, when you're a Muay Thai guy, she's very uptight when I'm talking yeah. about Kamara. Whereas Karakosian, she here bend that knee break, break, and come up through from break. the hips. I'll tell you what, it's something I noticed on the inside. Karakosian uh, is smushing the face of Kamara with her bare palm. That also can make things uncomfortable and also block the breathing of the opponent. And she goes to the southpaw stance and lands a left hand. Yeah, you can see the boxing background of Karakosian. She's a Golden Glove champion, guys. Amateur ABF Continental champion. Had 11 wins in one year in the blue and gold back in Oxnard. Kamara looks a little bit out of her league here. She's not, she's not totally incapable, but she looks a little bit confused, I'll say, on the inside. Kira Kojin, her footwork is absolutely yeah, excellent. You know, absolutely. She goes side to side yeah. and then throws that shot from the hip. Look at the way she moves yeah, around. And, and Kamara's having a hard time getting off first. I mean, she's, she can't find the range, so she can't get off first. And even when she gets off, you see her feet. It's that Muay Thai background. She's crossing her feet as she's coming forward. She's walking Stop. and not shuffling her feet. She's straighter than the Statue of Liberty. You know that? Yeah. I mean, just straight up. Oh. Like the statue of uh, Roger Federer outside. <laughs> Agnesa off to a very impressive start. Two minute rounds, five of them scheduled if it goes that deep. And Kamara has also not. Kamara also not understanding how to get leverage on her shots. A lot of her arms, her shots are arm punches. You notice the leverage on the shots of Kirikosian. Yes. Now, Mike and Polly, look at the shoes that uh, know, Kamara is wearing. That. She's wearing regular tennis shoes. Yeah. And you know, explain that. Oh, we we're at the tennis center. Yeah, we're at the tennis center. <laughs> but explain that well, yeah. that's yeah. what that does to a fighter. No, I know. You don't it, want to it, be it, slipping. It messes her footwork up, and you, know, you see the boxing shoes on for Kirikosian. You see her background and where it's at. And you can see the clear, the big difference in the first round was the footwork, for sure, you know? Yeah. Uh, it was Kirikosian's ability to be in and out of range. Kamara wanted to fight, but she didn't know how to find the range, and she had a hard time even getting all first. And when Kirikosian would initiate, Kamara was already out of position. Well, keep in mind, Mariana's done most of the fighting in her life without shoes on. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. But you know what I would do with this if I was in a corner? I would smear some soft drink on the sole. <laughs> and make it sticky. Go. There you make go. It as sticky I might as mess it up go. for everybody else. Though. Yeah. Ah, but it doesn't matter. You got to be in the moment in this sport. Yeah. Well, the moment that was the first two minutes of this fight, all Kirikosian got her nickname from her late coach, Jesse. She said, you should never choose your own nickname, so she likes to be named after the World War II British fighter jet due to her unpredictability and speedy moment. And the moment in the movement right now, Kirikosian just continues to smother Kamara. But if we, get, if we get the camera guy to shoot the feet, you can see that foot constantly slipping. Every time that she tries to load up, watch her slide. Yeah. Trying to find some range now. 
Now she's using dirty boxing. This is what she has to do. Yes. Yeah, well, once she gets the range, she's Well, that Muay Thai that. clinch, that plum, I mean, that hey, that's famous. For it. Yep. But again, in order to do that, you got to be able to find that range. Right. So one thing here goes, you know, she likes to initiate to the body first. I noticed a lot of windmill shots, uh, roundhouse shots going to the body of Kamara by Kirikosi. And maybe you might notice it here again. Let's see how she closes this gap. Oh, oh, what a hook over the top. What a hook. Mariana right up. She'll take the eight. Right off the footwork. Nice. Hey, can you fight? Yeah. Come towards me. Okay, well set up. That was a nice little knockdown scored by Kirikosi. A, a little bounce to the left, to the right, and then. Come back with a hook. Karakosian has been with that AJ Easley team, guys, for two years. Julio Tenori, Puma Isaac Freeman, Christine Freya, BG. I mean, they got their, They might become the American top team of bare knuckle boxing. Yeah. They're on the way. And notice those body shots on the inside. There she goes again. But you know what? I'm impressed with Kira Coach. She doesn't waste a moment. No. She got inside. She went to the body. Whatever was available, hey, was she was going to hit. She's a spitfire. Exactly. Oh, body shot. Just boxed 22 days ago. She has cousins who live here in the United hey, Arab Emirates, hey. and they are in attendance tonight. So she's got hey. a little crowd here Five. as round two comes to a close. Well, is not too far off, right? That's correct. So far, I think the best punches by Kamara have been by her hair. <laughs> Might have been. Swift side to side. Yep. Kirikosian's fixing her hair right now in the corner. Coach Sergio told us about Agnesa that she That's has it. spectacular technique and she utilizes it well. She's brilliant at the basics and we're seeing it, guys. And really, she's just making life uncomfortable for Kamara. Even on the inside, as you see here, a Spitfire nickname, she lives up to it. As she gets on the inside and just won't stop working and Kamara really not able to get her bearing. See the, the knockdown here, see a little step over to the left, gets Kamara to follow her and then meets her with a right hook. Very well set up knockdown. Seconds out. Let's go. Let's go. Right before that, she had faked over to the right, then stepped over to the left. And what it did was it made Kamara kind of follow her over go and walked her into the right hook. Let's go. She's got her What's that? tie What's that? shorts on. What's that? And Kamara comes out swinging here to start around three. And Kira Koji's mother had go. nightmares about her fighting. Go. Boy, I tell you what. Guys, she sees you. her daughter. Her technique is go. absolutely excellent. Yeah, she knows how to fight this girl. Oh, what another knockdown. Stop. Big right hand. Big right hand. Three, four, okay. five, okay. six, okay. seven, okay. eight. Can you fight? Yes. No. Come to me. Kamara's <laughs> <That's laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> offended if she's even getting the count. Yeah. But, you know, I just said I was fine in four. It's part of the rules of being counted eight to, um, to eight. Even when she's sliding with her feet, I'm going to harp on that yeah. the whole night. But Those are the Muay wrong Thai. shoes. Yeah, but it's also the Muay Thai. Uh, it's instead of go. Yeah, shuffling fight. forward, pushing off the back foot, she walks forward. That being said, she's... Stop. Oh, making this a little bit more 50-50, not pushing. quite, That's here in the third. Fight. Kamara is starting to land. And let's see if, I don't think Agnesa will fold it all, but the confidence of Mariana Kamara may be Fight. growing. Okay, she's tough. Yeah. Fight. Yeah, when, when she has eight to get back to her senses and wants to go two. When, when you start out during the introductions like her trainer did. Yeah. Both of them yelling at Big Mo when they announced their name. <laughs> now you gotta live up to it. You know, they, you got that Big right. Mo got yelled at by both sides. Up. Here we go again. That was just a takedown. That, that's a sack. Go. Again, phys physicality. Hey. But you can see it. Kira Koji is so much stronger. Yeah. So much stronger. She does whatever Stop. she wants when she backs her up. Wait. Yeah, and, that, and those bully tactics also help play a psychological role as well. No as question, Paul. You know? and, and by the way, Agnesa Kirikosian, the Armenian, six of her seven professional boxing bouts in Mexico. She's been in there tough. Look at the footwork. Again, look at the footwork. Look at the way Kirikosian knows how to step back, forward, and back, and the way Kamara follows her. It's a dip, di discrepancy of footwork that allows Kirikosian to be able to have the sharper shots and be first. Yes. Even if Mariana wanted to throw a spinning back fist, which would not be legal, 
She's got no room to do it, Benny. Absolutely not, because she's doing a beautiful like Kerry Cole. She's smothering her. And then she's very good, because that's not an easy thing to do. No. When you get close to create punching angles. Then that's not easy to do the Karakosian is doing. She knows how to fight on the back foot. She knows how to throw those punches as she steps back. She knows how to step back and set those traps. She's throwing a lot of check, check hooks tonight and a lot of shots that have met Kamara on her way in. Right, th right there. Like that was one of those hooks, yep. And that was from the previous round. That was a knockdown from the previous round where she stepped on. Again, the fake this way, get, get, get her to follow, and then boom. Established in the 18th out. century as a small a fishing round, village. Yeah. We are in Dubai tonight. It has grown rapidly to Kids. say the least. It's all about a focus on tourism, Ladies, to luxury, Go. the tallest building in the world and the smallest surface in combat sports. We're in round number four of this super flyweight matchup. Karakosian in the black, the pink Stop. for Mariana Kamara. Up. Go. I tell you what's wide open, that uppercut. If Kara Kozy can throw that uppercut, look, see the way she leads right there? She leaves that chin wide Stop. open. If she can Stop. come up with that, Stop. it'll be over. Right. The one Go. thing Kamara has displayed, she is in incredible shape because she has taken some really heavy body shots and she just kind of walks. She's she getting in more, but she she walks away from him, Paulie. Stop. Takes any here, but why? Watch the forward on the three. Why? Hey. Watch, the forward. watch the watch the difference in forward. Look at the feet of Kamara. That's a good body shot by Kirikozian as she initiated. But even when Kirikozian goes Stop. backwards, right. let's see if they, they go here. Let's right. see if she allows Kamara to come forward. Look at the way Kamara comes hey. forward and the way Kirikozian. Now she's being on the on the front foot here. Look at, here. Well, when she goes she goes back, it's a trap. Right, look at look the trap enticing her to come in. But again, it's Kamara's, Kamara comes forward like a Muay Thai fighter where she's up high and she's she's just crossing her feet and, and she's not able to close or the gap. That's going to take well, away from yeah. You know what? I was wondering. So he, already, he warned her already. Yes. In the previous Stop round, he warned her. Stop. One point deduction yep. from the referee for the continuous pushing from Kira Kojian. You almost, you almost take that point deduction and play the psychology role here. Yeah. You know, Mike, you told that story about Kira Koja's family not wanting to be an artist. I'll tell you right now, Kamara wishes she would have been an artist. <laughs> Glendale Community College, media oh, arts degree, cosmetology here. license. A slip. Yeah. Yep. Go. Fight. That was a slip. I mean, she had an opportunity to land something right there, and her feet went out. Yeah. Stop. There it is again. Check us out. Let's go. Fight. Oh, the body shots. I tell you, kirikosian has been targeting the body well this round. I made the point earlier, Kamara, she's got some ab strength because she's been taking them. You know, and Polly, I'm going to ask you this. A, a fighter trains. You train for Maranaka, but then you train for Muay Thai. There's a contradiction there, right? Oh. Well, a little bit in the footwork, yeah. You know, I mean, obviously fighting is fighting, but a little the footwork really hurts you that you come back from, uh, as we see somebody action that last round there with Kamara taking some shots up against the ropes. And Kamara winds up just holding on, trying to dirty boxing, but in reality, she's just holding on for dear life. So Kirikosian is trying to free herself, and a lot of times that was what was creating the pushing. Look, Kirikosian is just trying to free herself here. Kamara's not really doing dirty boxing. She's holding, but she's not hitting. She's not doing dirty boxing. So there, you know, Kirikosian winds up pushing in order to create space. Because Kirikosian really does live up to her nickname, like a Spitfire. She looks to create space. Second down. Fight. Let's go. Even there, the Let's referee go. even only took a point away from uh, Kirikosian, uh, which may be mandated. You got to warn Kamara for if she's going to hold like that, she's going to yeah. work. Because yeah. all Kirikosian is looking to do there. Oh, big hook. Again, check hook. All Kirikosian is looking to do there is create enough, enough space to work. Six. Seven. Again, that's coming hey. straight up. On Don't fight. Kamara. Yes. Walk this way. Walk coming this way. In. Okay. Coming in straight forward, up high. You walk into these check hooks. You're all, all the fighter who's backing up has to do is throw the hook on the on your way in. You're gonna walk right into it. And look how upright she is. Yeah. yeah. Come on. You're used to tap it. You're used to tapping that front foot, throwing a yeah. tee, yeah. the foot jab. And she's not able to do it here. Stop. Uppercut lands. Stop. Step. For Mariana Kamara. Go. When you come in fight. To just punching, boxing, and, and bare knuckle and regular boxing, you've got to adjust your footwork. Yeah. Because this, these are the kind of things that boxers will take advantage of. Stop. And I think she wishes she just wouldn't have worn fight. shoes at all tonight, honestly. Fight. Not only because of the slip, but because she's used to it. Now, I, the fight. rules might mandate you gotta go. got to cover those feet, you got to cover those fight. toes. It's not Muay Thai, but those are, are not 
again, friendly shoes on this canvas. And again, it's just holding. Stop. Not really looking to Stop. hold and hit. Stop. 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 All Kirikosian is doing is looking to create Wait. space to, to work. But every time there's that clinch, Kirikosian is smart enough to get down. Get down and then use the power of her legs to go up. See right there. See how she's slipping? She almost Stop. did the split right look, there. Luba's trying to work inside. We was trying to create go. space to work Fight. inside. And that's Kamara's only chance is really to work on inside. No on the question. Outside, her footwork is not good enough. But on the inside, I mean, she's not warning, but even the <laughs> <laughs> referee's getting aggravated. Wait! <laughs> to the body. <laughs> and again to the body. Yeah, Kamara, both these women are tough. Yeah. No, you can't question Break. Kamara's heart. No. She's Break. got heart Break. as big Break. as the heart you're ever going to see. Break. But the technique is just not there. The slipping with her feet, and she's too upright. Up! 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 Disgusted. Let's go! Break. Break. They go the distance. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I thought Kira Cozy is an impressive fighter, I tell you. I tell you, she knows the proper combinations, she knows how to counter, knows how to lead, knows how to use her footwork very well, knows how to set traps. That's an impressive fighter. I think we're seeing the birth of a star. I'm telling you The what. birth of a star in bare knuckle because her technique is absolutely flawless. And she's got the mentality of a, of a fighter. She's always looking to create the action. She's always looking on, to, she's always looking to, fire. to and create the, 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 the and Let's she, go. She's, she's got the mindset of a fighter as well. Because sometimes when you see a lot of talented fighters in there, the, the mindset is not there. She's got, she's, she's got all the talent, all the intangibles. I think she also has that mindset, which makes her an exciting fighter to watch. Seven bouts action. with the, the gloves around, on, guys. Look at it. Look at the way the round started. I mean, yeah. the round starts. Referee Bam. plays it. Boom. And again, you look at how Kamara looks to cut the gap. Comes forward straight up. Like, yeah, again, from, from that kickboxing background, from that Muay Thai background. A lot of the mistakes I would see when I was in boxing gyms in my life, I could tell the guys who came from karate and kickboxing, yeah. they always had that footwork that just made them stand out. And uh, by the way, Mariana is also a world champion in karate. Official decision is in. Karakosian. Seven bouts with gloves on in 15 months. Tonight, her bare knuckle debut to make it official Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after five full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. All three judges, see the bout 49 to 42, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Agnesa Spitfire Kira Kozian.